Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. Hope everybody's having an unbelievable day. Look, um, the Black Wealth series is going to continue. Uh, you'll have another installment more than likely on tomorrow, maybe even later on today, depends on how my day goes. Uh, I have a couple more sessions and then I have a meeting. Uh, but anyway, with that being said, keep looking for that session. Uh, those uh, installments also don't forget we are reloading uh, the black voice radio show uh, with me and Michael Jordan and also this Saturday we're launching a new uh, show uh, with my friend colleague and confidant Dr. Michael Blanchard uh, I'm excited about that too uh, that's a new uh, uh, new program that we're going to launch. I'll give you more information on that later on today. Don't forget, uh, in 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 parallel to the black uh, well black wealth series that I'm doing, that series is a direct parallel and correspondence to the book I'm writing, my 25th book, which is the Black Wealth Project. Uh, that name may definitely change as I write. Uh, normally that's how it works. I'll start out with a thought in my head and as I write something else will pop out and the end title will be something different but the content and where we're flowing with it will be the same. But uh, I am offering a sponsorship program, a uh, sponsorship opportunity for anyone who wants to uh, pay tribute or memorialize someone who has had a an impact on their lives and you can do this by sponsoring space in this 25th book I think uh, no matter how you you rate it or measure it being able to write and publish 20 foot 25 books is something worth being proud of and I am uh, I'm excited about what comes next I, I am nowhere close to being finished I still believe my best work is yet to be done. I'm still growing. I'm still learning. I'm still expanding my mind. I'm still exploring uh, new ways to solve uh, multitudinous problems. And book number 25, I think, would be my best work to date uh, based off of where I'm going and how I'm approaching it. If you want to get an idea, go back and listen to uh, those series. Uh, I'm going to go back and actually number them so you'll know when, you, when you're when you listening to the first one, which is going to be understanding the black codes. Uh, I am going to touch it in a very comprehensive way. We're not just talking about numbers. We're not just talking about group economics. We're not just talking about the things you should definitely know and understand. Dr. Claude Anderson has done an unbelievable job uh, exposing things from an economic perspective, solely from an economic perspective. Um, and you know his work stands on its own merit nobody has to even examine or, or critique it, it it has proven to stand over decades you know those books were written some time ago uh, powernomics and uh black labor white wealth um and all the other stuff that he's contributed over the years so this is a comprehensive look at everything that we faced in this country since 1865 that has in some way negatively impacted our capacity to build wealth. And I'm, I'm laying this out. And so I have chose a very worthy topic for book number 25. And I'm inviting you to sponsor a space in the book. And when you sponsor this space in the book, you can celebrate anyone who you believe has had an impact on your life, uh, parents, grandparents, teachers, coaches, uh, business mentors, um, and on and on. Um, I even had one person who sponsored some space actually pay tribute to me. I thought that was very special. Um, and it, it, it sort of encouraged me because a lot of times um, it feels like the work you do is thankless. And to know that the work you're doing is having an impact on someone, if it's just one person, is encouraging. But you can sponsor space. There's no minimum sponsorship. Uh, 50 cent a dollar will still get your name and your um, excerpt of who you want to sponsor. Now, if you sponsor $25 
or more, you get a signed copy of the book. If you sponsor $100 or more, you get a dedicated page, meaning that that page is yours. If you sponsor $250 or more, you get the dedicated page, plus you get to submit a picture of the person that you want to memorialize. Um, and so on that note, I just wanted to remind you of that. I'm actually here to talk about a teaser. Um, you know, there are certain things that we've learned we cannot post on certain platforms. And we, we're in order to be able to do what we need to do until we have our own up and running in, complete, in, in, to, in totality. You know, and we're doing a great job. Uh, my friend and partner, Neo Dior, is unbelievable. She's exceptional. She has a history. This, you know, she didn't just pop out of the blue a couple of years ago. She's been doing what she's been doing for years, and she's been exceptional at it. And we, I'm, I'm happy to be a part of Alt Black Media. We still have a ways to go to be able to create the capacity to house videos in the same way that you can do it on YouTube and Rumble and a couple of other places. But we have, for at least now, found a space on Rumble where they are not censoring content, they're not deleting accounts, and it's some pretty uh, radical stuff on there. Not just in the black community, but period. And for for as of now, they're not bothering it. Uh, it may not be monetized. They're only monetizing certain content. Uh, they may not monetize it, but they're not uh, dinging you for it. So uh, I just uh, reviewed uh, some footage of a uh, exchange between Dr. Anthony Fauci and Dr. Uh, Senator Rand Paul, who happens to be a doctor, uh, about some testimony that uh, Fauci gave back in May uh, that may have been false. And uh, false testimony uh, before a Senate committee can get you up to five years. Uh, what's more important uh, in that exchange is the fact that um, during the exchange it came up that the Wuhan lab uh, has published research showing that they are doing what is known as I'm sorry, what is known as um, I don't want to miss 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 say it I, I've had it up here I don't know how many times uh, it's called um, gain of function, gain of function research. And basically what gain of function research is, is when you take a virus that only impacts a certain group or certain species, uh, for instance, viruses that only infect animals and you uh, genetically manipulate those viruses so that they now infect humans, uh, that's called gain of, of function research. And there is a video on Rumble that totally explains what's going on. Rand Paul has the actual papers. Um, and it seems that the NIH actually has actually funded some of that research. My bigger question uh, to it all was, why are we doing research that manipulates viruses and creates artificial viruses that in the natural state wouldn't have a neg negative impact on humans, but in the manipulated state does? And my thing is, this situation in which the uh, COV virus uh, got out, um, we're talking about COVID-19, which has a survival rate of 99%. My, my concern is what happens if a virus escapes that lab, whether purposely or accidentally, and it has a kill rate equal to that of Ebola with the same level of transmission that this virus has. That's the concern. But anyway, go over there. You can go over to Rumble and watch it, or you can go to the Odyssey page and actually read the entire write-up on it and watch the video at the same time. Uh, but definitely check it out. Don't forget, if you haven't sponsored uh, a space in my latest book, uh, here's a chance to do so. Go in there and click that link as well and make it happen. On that note, I'm out.